So here are the five steps that we ended off the last video with. Here are the five questions that we need to ask if we want to graph a parabola. So which way is the parabola facing? So that first one, is it concave up, smiley face, or concave down, unhappy face? The second part is what is the y-intercept? The third question is what is the x-intercepts? Fourth question is about the axis of symmetry. And the final question is about where the vertex is. Now, when we're doing these questions, uh, actually, so when we're doing this, there's a few different ways of doing parts three to five in particular. The first way we're going to do, as the title of the first part we've shown, is we're going to factorize the graph of, uh, to factorize, use factorizing to graph our parabola. So for steps three to five, what I have here is we want to factorize a quadratic function to sol and solve to find your zeros. So we've done a bit of practice on quadratic, uh, factorizing quadratic functions. So you want to write it as two factors. So x plus, x minus something and x minus another number. And we solve each one of these factors individually and we find x is equal to alpha, x is equal to beta. Those are our two different zeros or x intercepts. We can plot them on our Cartesian plane. Then the second step, what we do is we find the axis of symmetry. So to find our axis of symmetry, we average the zeros. So what this involves is we go, well, our axis of symmetry, x is equal to x plus alpha plus beta over 2. We take an average, so we add our roots together, and then we take an average of the two. Once we've done that, then we sub in the x value that we find into the equation of the parabola to find the vertex. And this will find us what the tip of our ver uh, parabola is going to look like. So in the booklet, there was an example of how to do this, and I'm going to do it on this video. So the example was we want to sketch the curve Neg y is equal to negative x squared minus 2x plus 3. So let's go through those five steps that we had up above. I'm going to go through them. I'm not going to keep scrolling back and forth. I'm going to go through them here with you. The first step is to check what the concavity of the graph looks like. So this is finding that a value. Is the graph facing upwards, so smiley face, or is it facing downwards, unhappy face? Hmm. So what we do here is for so concavity... What we do is we look at the coefficient of x squared. Now, if you have a look here, the coefficient of x squared of x squared, the coefficient of x squared, if you have a look here, is this minus one. We don't have a number there, so it's, or we just uh, impl implies a one there. So here we're going to have minus one. This is negative. So because it's negative, it's going to be concave down. Our graph is going to look something like this. It's going to go unhappy face, frowny face. So that's the first step. We check the coefficient of x squared. If it's positive, it's concave up. But in this case, because it's negative, it's concave down. So the concavity is the first step we do. Okay, so we've done our first step. The second step is our y-intercept. Now, if you remember, to find our y-intercept, what do we do? We substitute x is equal to 0. So we're going to substitute x is equal to 0. So sub x is equal to 0. Let's do that for our parabola here. So what I'm going to get? I'm going to get y is equal to negative 0 squared minus 2 times 0 plus 3. So for our y-intercept, when we simplify this, we're going to get y is equal to 3. That is our y-intercept. So when this graph, when the parabola is graphed, what's going to happen is we're going to have a concave down graph, but it's also going to touch, when it touches the y-axis, so the y-axis is the vertical line, this value here is going to be 3. That's what the second step tells us. Okay, the third step as we are doing factorizing this section, in this section, we're going to factorize our quadratic to find our two zeros, so our two x-intercepts. So let's do that. So step three, finding zeros. So what we're doing is we're solving y is equal to zero. So let's do that. So in my, my quadratic was negative x squared minus 2x plus 3. We're solving for that is equal to zero. Okay, let's do that underneath. The first thing I'm going to do is because I've got a negative 
out the front of my x squared. I kind of don't like that. I'm just going to factorize out the negative here. So I'm going to have negative, and when I take out a negative, all the signs are going to flip. So here the x, negative x squared becomes x squared. The minus 2x becomes plus 2x, and the plus 3 becomes minus 3, and that's equal to 0. Now we've done some practice factorizing our quadratics. What I want to do is I want to find two numbers that add together to give me plus 2 and multiply to give me negative 3. From our practice, just remember, I'm going to go, I'm going to factorize this. This becomes x plus 3, x minus 1, equal to 0. Once I've done that, I'm going to solve my two factors. So I'm going to go x plus 3 is equal to 0, or x minus 1 is equal to 0. So when I solve this, I've got x is equal to minus 3, or x is equal to 1. So I have my two zeros, or x-intercepts here. So what that's going to tell me is when I draw my quadratic, where x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 3, I'm going to have two x-intercepts. I'm going to have two x-intercepts at those points. Okay. The next step after that. The next step is we want to find the axis of symmetry. I'm going to simplify that to ax AOS. I'm lazy, as you can probably tell. So when we want to find the axis of symmetry, what we want to do is we want to average, average the zeros. So let's do that here. So I'm going to go x, the axis of symmetry, it's an uh, equation where it's x is equal to, I'm going to take my two roots, so the two roots I got down here, negative 3 and 1, I'm going to add the two together, negative 3 plus 1. When I average it, I need to divide by how many values I have. I'm going to divide it by 2. So let's simplify this. I'm going to have negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2 over 2. And when I simplify that, we're going to get negative 1. So the axis of symmetry is going to be x is equal to negative 1. So I've done my first four steps. So I found the concavity. So which way is it facing? Is it facing up or down? Then I found my y-intercept, where it cuts the y-axis, so the vertical line vertical axis. Then I found my zeros in step three, so where it cu cuts a horizontal axis, the x-axis. And now I found also the axis of symmetry. So where is the line where it's going to be a mirror image on either side of this line? The final step is to find the vertex. So final step is to find the vertex. And what we have to do here is we sub our axis of symmetry into the parabola. We sub x is equal to minus 1, so this is a value we found in the previous step. We're going to substitute that in to my equation of the parabola. So here, what I'm going to do, my equation was y is equal to negative x squared minus 2x plus 3. I'm going to sub x is equal to minus 1. So let's do that. I've got y is equal to negative, negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 plus 3. We're going to simplify that. We're going to get negative. Negative 1 squared is 1, so we're going to have 1 minus negative 2 times 1 gives me, this ends up being a plus 2. We have a plus 3 at the end. Okay, so when I simplify this, I'm going to get uh, 4. Y is equal to 4. And so what that means is I have, I have uh, the coordinate of my vertex. The coordinate of my vertex is going to be my x value that I got for this axis of symmetry. So here, so therefore the vertex is going to be, I've got my x value from my axis of symmetry, so negative 1, and I've got the y value of 4 here to tell me where that y or vertical component is. So now that I've got this, I've got all five parts I need in order for me to graph this parabola. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to put some space down here. I'm going to draw my axes, so I'm going to get my x-axis, I'm going to do my y-axis, I'm going to draw it a little bit to the right because I know where my x and y values are, oh, my x-intercepts are. Now the first step is I'm going to put on my, oh, so the concavity, I'm not going to put that on until the end because I just want to know the general shape. So I know the general shape is going to look something upside down. That's why you have a look, my graph is more vertical has more of that positive y values rather than my negative y values. 
Once I've done that, I'm going to put on the y-intercept. The y-intercept that I found in step two was y is equal to three. So I'm going to have a y-intercept of three here. Once I've done that, I'm going to go to my step three, which was the finding the x-intercept. And I found in step three that my x-intercept was at x is equal to one and x is equal to minus three. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on this. That was from step three. Now, step four was I needed to find the axis of symmetry. So I knew the axis of symmetry was the average. So it was here at negative one. That was step uh, four, actually. Step four, the axis of symmetry. I'm not going to put that line in. I'm just going to put that dash at the x in value just because I want to sh uh, show the point. And then once I did that, I found in step five that the vertex was at x is equal to minus one and y is equal to four. So I'm going to draw a four up here. And I know that there's going to be a point up here. So when I combine all of this information together, what the parabola is going to look like, and I'm going to move my negative three to the side a bit, just so I can draw this a little bit neater. It's going to go through, it's going to be an upside down parabola. I'm going to start on this side. It's going to go through that x-intercept, that negative three. It's going to go all the way up to four. And that's where the vertex is. And that's where the parabola is going to start turning and go the other direction. So it's going to go down. It's going to go uh, y-intercept at three. Go all the way back down to one. And there we go, this is my parabola, y is equal to negative x squared minus 2x plus 3. Now, I said earlier that when we were doing linear equations that we should draw at the, t the line, so what, at the tips, x squared minus 2x plus 3. There we go. That's how we graph a parabola using factorizing. So we went through all five of those steps. Here in particular, for steps three to five, we factorize our quadratic so that we can find uh, the x-intercepts. Then we solve to find the, uh, to find the axis of symmetry, and then we put it in to find our vertex. So that's the first example here of how we found what, y is, how we drew y is equal to negative x squared minus 2x plus 3. There's indeed a few steps involved. If you need to go back and have a look again at this video and go through it slower, feel free to do so. What I'm going to do now is I'm going